Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys about a resource that I've been utilizing with my preschooler and my kindergartner to help them get ready to have a great start to next school year. It is the Evan Moore Smart Start Math Books. These books have really helped my girls to be prepared for next year and they are absolutely loving the activities. I'm going to share today kind of the features, what you can expect inside each of these books, as well as what sets them apart, what makes them different than just any other workbook that's out there on the shelf. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. The Smart Start series is something that Evan Moore offers and they actually have Smart Start books for many different categories or different subjects in school. The math books are what I have truly fallen in love with and they have them for pre-K, for kindergarten, and then they also have them for first grade. Just those beginning years to help give your kids a strong start to their math skills. Each book covers a variety of topics, which you can easily find in the table of contents. They have them color coded and next to each lesson, they tell you specifically what skill they are working on in that particular lesson. So for example, this is the kindergarten book. They're working on one-to-one -one correspondence, counting to determine a set, numbers, names, and symbols, spatial relationships, geometric shapes, shapes in our world, sorting into groups, repeating patterns, countings in sets, non-standard measurements. They even have some addition and subtraction and that's not even all the different things that are offered here in this book. Pre-K also offers one-to-one -one correspondence, working on a lot of the patterns, shape, sorting, and classifying, starting counting to 10, and so on and so forth. I will leave a link down below where you guys can check out more information and see a sample of inside this book so you can figure out which level might be right for you and your child. But what makes these books set apart? What makes them different? Well, the first thing is, is that they teach and review math skills utilizing stories. Each week, you will start out with a story for your child that's going to teach a specific math concept. For instance, this one is working on one-to-one -one correspondence. You can read the story with your child, and it has this amazing visual that they can color portions of as they listen to the story. They have these great visuals they can color as you read the story. They even bold different parts of the story that might relate to the picture that they need to color. So here, Papa Panda is sitting in a great big chair. So when you talk about that, they can color Papa Panda. And when you talk about Mama Panda sits in her medium sized chair, then they can color Mama Panda. This just really makes it fun and engaging for your kids. And then once you're finished with the story, your child is going to retell in their own words what they heard in the story. The great part about this is that there is that visual right alongside of it for your child to utilize when it comes to retelling you the story. After the story, you will have four different pages that will help you practice that concept that was taught in that lesson with your child. So here they're matching the panda with the size chair that they went with and talking about large and medium and small. Here they're talking about that norm number correspondence, match one panda to one cookie, make sure every panda has a cookie. I love the fact that Evan Moore uses these smiley faces for non-readers. So they'll ask them a question like, is there a cookie for every glass of milk? And then they either circle or color in the smiley face for yes or the sad face for no. So they've really taken these into consideration and made them very age appropriate. The last page that they will do will utilize some kind of tracing or writing concept to help introduce them to math vocabulary. So here we've got big, little. In the kindergarten book, you're also going to find these tracing things. So here they're looking at shape, color, and size. It's just a great way to start introducing those concepts. So when they come across them in their school lessons, they won't be surprised. They'll be familiar with them and know exactly what they mean. But one of the things that I love about these workbooks is not only do they teach through real life experiences by teaching them through stories, they're helping them retell the stories and then work on worksheets that will help reinforce those concepts. But I also love the fact that it comes with an audio option. So each book, you will actually have a QR code in the front that you can scan with your phone, tablet, or device, and you will be able to download all of the stories. So what I'm doing with my daughters is once they finish the book, we are going to rip out, because they make all the pages perforated, the story as well as the picture, and I'm going to put them into sleeve protectors and make each girl their own little math book. This way, they can go back and re-listen to the stories on audio as many times as they want, and this gives them built-in review skills for each math concept. 
I really am excited about this and I love it. My girls are really enjoying it and they love the fact that things progress very naturally. There hasn't been any large leaps in the workbooks for them. They've been able to just take it incrementally and build on each of the skills and they can go back and review as often as necessary. They do include their answer key in the back, which most people are not going to need to utilize that, but I always like having that available in case maybe for some reason an activity is not making sense to you or you're not sure what they're looking for. It gives you that reassurance there and of course, my girl's favorite part is that the books include stickers in the back that you can use to encourage your child along their way as they learn these new math concepts. This is something I would highly recommend for a great summer activity if you're looking for a gentle approach to your summer, just kind of reviewing some of the skills and getting them ready for the next school year. Or like I said, if something you might want to add in addition that your child could do somewhat independently um, or maybe with the help of an older sibling during the school year, if you need to kind of keep small hands busy and you want to engage them in that extra learning. I hope this has been helpful. I will leave a link down below where you guys can find these math books as well as some of the other Smart Start series. You can see that list down below and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.